Hello everyone, Darcy Klein here. Just wanted to make a quick video to uh, go over a new setup I've got here. No, it's not to show you my my mess. <laughs> well, maybe it is. Uh, that's the aftermath of a project that I've been working on for some time. It's taken me a little bit to, you know, financially to put together the resources uh, as well as the, uh, you know, the the. Uh, the education uh, as to how to go about doing it and uh, and you know just getting all the little bits and pieces together to have a solar voltaic photovoltaic uh, solar energy system so what I've got out there is two 315 watt panels um, they were uh, advertised as being rated as uh, 27 volt maximum but uh, turned out that are 39 volt max and my pulse charger uh, the bit in the middle on top there is a, uh, a 55 volt max so uh, instead of being able to run these uh, panels into uh, together in series uh, I had to uh, pa parallel them together um, so I've got them kind of bust together into two little junctions underneath here red positive and black negative and uh, thereby I was able to keep the voltage below the, the level required by the uh, pulse charger. I've got a nice grounding here to a, a good galvanized ground rod. goes about six feet into the ground. And these frames were actually awnings from an old restaurant uh, that I was working in. So I reclaimed the awnings and uh, they've worked really well. I actually had to build a kind of a structure to support the uh, support the weight of these uh, it's not a lot of weight and actually the frame being tied back onto the deck really helps but it's a pretty simple setup eh? like uh, and uh, I don't consider it an eyesore at all it, I think it's actually an attractive thing because it, of what it provides um, now yeah I had the system running uh, without any uh, draw on the uh, on the um, Actually, I'll keep that open. Um, I didn't have any draw on the inverter, uh, and, and the the float uh, charge of 29 volts it got up there pretty quick today. It's a nice sunny day, so instead of dissipating the energy or wasting the energy, I decided to start cranking up the inverter. So uh, what we've got here. I've got it coming out of the the DC or the AC side. There's a little panel there. About 115 amp outlet, and it comes down out around behind the fireplace and the wheelbarrow, and over here. And I've got a, um, a a watt meter. So what I've got hooked up right now is uh, is this uh, 37 inch Bravia TV and uh, and a computer, a PC. An Ethernet hub and a speaker with a subwoofer, and uh, that came in at about 120 watts. So I decided that I wanted to see how much weight the inverter would take or the charger would take. I've got this um, this uh, air conditioner running now, and that brought it up to 250 to 224. It fluctuates a little bit with that compressor running. And uh, what I found was <clears throat> the pulse charger uh, continued to maintain the battery at 24.8 volts and that jumps up and down a little bit with the sun. There's the sun's going under a cloud right now. So it drops, uh, drops off. Now the sun's coming back up. And we'll see that 24 jump back up to 24.8. Yeah, so I've got a, a ground fault uh, protector in there. It's a 63 amp ground fault protector. And then there's a negative bus bar for the battery. That's the positive off the photovoltaic cell. And a DC disconnect that kills both the batteries and the, uh, the photovoltaic cell. All 6 gauge wiring, uh, even heavier gauge, uh, I think closer to number 2 on the battery terminals all the way through to the inverter so the inverter's got really heavily ca heavy ca cabling to the uh, to the batteries 
that's 480 amp hours. Uh, they're bust together in parallel, like I was saying. I'm going to have uh, another, I'm going to triple that. I'm going to be doing that uh, two more stages here and setting this room up with some ventilation uh, so I can close it off. You can hear the inverter. It's with, uh, it's noisy whether there's any any uh, thing hooked up to it or not. When it's on, it's just noisy. So I'll try to cancel some of that noise and uh, yeah, so it's it's really running quite well. This uh, light being on indicates a solid battery charge state. Uh, as soon as I bring it uh, the weight off the inverter, because it's load compensating for the inverter right now, it'll start to bring the batteries right back up to their float value. But uh, while while under load. Uh, it's doing more work to compensate on the uh, for the inverter what the inverter is providing to the AC circuit uh, So the battery is kind of just ignored at this point But believe me it does get right up there to 29 volts quite fast without any weight on the uh, on the inverter So that's that uh, just wanted to share that with you all It's been a long-term project and a big uh, goal of mine Probably the last five years I've flirted with that I could show you a cell that I built that uh, warp because I didn't have high temperature glass and uh, you know wasted a bunch of money on some uh, cells and encapsulating them onto some glass you know all the soldering and all that work was wasted and in the end uh, a couple of years ago what was probably a twenty two twenty four hundred dollar uh, photovoltaic cell is now closer to well that those are five hundred and forty dollars uh, at the Alt E Energy Store uh, online altee.com or altestore.com. I mean, I'll put the link in the uh, in the description. And uh, so these are 540 bucks. Uh, you know, there's some shipping involved and whatnot, but they really are worth that because uh, you know the I'm over a kilowatt hour now already. It's not going to be a lot of money, but it's the independence and the uh, you know just the uh, to be able to know that you've got the the power there a backup. So. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, you know, I'll maybe do an update when I get a uh, when I get a shortwave radio set up in here. <laughs> All right, love and light.